The funding for this video is provided by the amazing members of my Patreon. Also contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. Yeah, I started from PBS Kids. What you gonna do? Fight me? Anyway, wrong video. We have come a long way when it comes to how society finds the ways to keep themselves entertained and not be bored to death. Because in the 1800s and the 1900s, so much of the entertainment created and consumed was just people making fun of other people and hurting animals. What we know as a circus is usually a group of people dancing and doing dangerous things. But when you think of a circus, what do you think of? I personally think of Dick Grayson's parents when I think of a circus. I can't be the only one, okay? I can't. Comment Richard's parents down below if you know what it is. Okay, anyway. So when you think of a circus, you'll think of a clown that has a very racist history behind it, but then you'll also think of tight ropes, magicians, singers, jugglers, puppeteers, and pretty much anyone that has some kind of talent. That is what a circus is presented to us as. But the part they don't want to show you about circuses is that they are kind of nasty. And if you want to know about the dark, nasty ass history behind circuses, I highly recommend watching American Horror Story Freak Show if you are of age to be watching that. So back in the day, if you were black or a person who looked very different because of an accident that happened or you were just born that way, you were most likely taken to the damn circus or you ran away to the circus for able-bodied white people to point at you and laugh at you and you couldn't really do much of anything about it. Aside from people getting treated poorly, animals were also brutalized for the entertainment of these same people. Like they'd hit animals, they'd throw things at them and point and laugh at them. And if these animals had different appearances, they would even pick on them even more. This is why we tell y'all when you go to the damn zoo, do not be throwing fucking peanuts at the animals. It's mean. SpongeBob literally made an entire episode about why y'all shouldn't do that. Have y'all learned nothing? In our media, circuses are usually portrayed as places where people go to where they feel like they don't fit in where they are and they want to feel loved and accepted by those that are different just as well. Which is why we fucking hate The Greatest Showman. We'll get there later. And while circuses are supposed to mean well for the people that go to these places, they often don't because the people that are in charge of circuses are awful to them. Like I mentioned The Greatest Showman, that is why many people, including me, strongly dislike that movie because it's a very inaccurate depiction of PJ Bartman. And a lot of people really were angry with that movie because they didn't portray him accurately. They only portrayed him in a positive light. And mind you that I didn't even know who that man was until this film came out and I saw people complaining about how why are y'all trying to paint him out that he's good he's bad guy Chun Li with the greatest show man the media continues to sell us this idea that circuses are cute and fun and wholesome and no like a lot of the people that are in charge of circuses are awful they literally take advantage of animals people of color and people with disabilities and poor people just as well because a lot of poor people in the past, like poor white people, they ran away to the circus in the past because they didn't have money. But now that you have all of this information, Dumbo is a film that has problems beyond those racist crows that were in it. Before we get started, I'm going to do a little shameless plug. Everything from my store is 35% off until December 24th. 
it's basically my little Disney symbol gift to you because Disney symbol is already a gift to y'all. I'm giving y'all 24 days straight chaos, but use code hotspot 35 for 35 percent off your order at harryannahook.com. Now let's continue on with today's subject matter. Now before I get started, I know some may say that I'm not really having nuance with this film and it's problematic nature, but here is my argument with that. And I'm most likely going to read it word for word because I don't want it to be... I don't want it to come off across as disingenuous when I say this. Like, I don't want it to feel like I'm just complaining. No. So Dumbo is a movie where a lot of bad things happen to the point where it's disturbing. But also, Dumbo, unlike American Horror Story Freak Show, Dumbo is made for children. And a lot of kids do not know right from wrong. And it's and if it's not explicitly shown what is happening is a problem, they miss the entire point that is trying to be made. When you are making things for kids and have bad things within them, it is important to show the targeted audience that these things are in fact wrong. This movie did not do that and no one Literally nobody at the end of the movie learned the lesson. The only people I said that learned the lesson were the crows. And y'all know how that go. The black people was the only person that got checked. But anyway, let's continue. And one last point that I do want to make about the film Dumbo is that the people that made this movie were not people that were in church. The people that made this movie were not people that used to be in circuses. So um, this also was not really their story to tell okay so the first point we're going to be talking about when it pertains to the movie dumbo is animal cruelty the animal cruelty aspect of this film is already a mess because during this time of when the movie was made and released animal rights regulations were not how they were then as they are now but even still to this day and age animals aren't treated much better to a certain extent primarily the issue with circus animals is that circuses are not ensuring that animal welfare is met on a minimum level from we own circuses such as Wrangler brothers and barnard and bailey circus to the local small town circuses Circus animals typically spend most of their time confined in cages or wagons, lacking the space and enrichment necessary for animal welfare. And many circus animals suffer both physically and mentally from living conditions. A yaunt explains circus organizations, particularly small-scale circuses, are severely lacking in the necessary funding, care, and expertise needed for exotic animals. In addition to lack of care and space, the majority of animal acts are in a direct opposition to the animal's natural behaviors. For instance, elephants are not genetically structured to balance on tiny tubs, and this unnatural behavior has led to unnecessary trauma, behavioral stress, physical harm, and discomfort. The physical and mental stress opposed on these animals led to abnormal behaviors, such as weaving in elephants, as a means for animals to cope with. The inability to practice species typical behaviors with high risk for animal welfare and increased public exposure to the violations that circuses commit. A growing portion of the public has questioned the continued use of animals in the circus. The animal cruelty that we see in Dumbo is the kids picking on Dumbo for his appearance and we also see the adults being a bit mean towards the animals. And as the kids are being very nasty towards him, he didn't know what to do and he couldn't do much of anything. Wait, Dumbo could not talk. Dumbo could not walk all that well. And it was very much unsettling to see how he was extremely helpless and could not defend him in the situation. So his mother comes in to defend him. And this results in her being locked up away in a small area isolated by herself. And yes, I do understand that this is a mother standing up for her son, but it was also very hurtful to see her locked up like that because she just wanted those people to leave her kid alone. But the people in charge of circuses, they don't know that. They just saw an animal hurt a person and then they separated her from everyone else. And I felt like if they actually saw what was going on, it would have been handled a lot differently. But no, they just saw that she smacked somebody and then she hit somebody else. And they're like, yeah, we got to take you away. Which I understand just as well because she did become a safety hazard. Elephants are huge, okay? Elephants are like the size of like three houses. 
Yeah, the people was in danger. But also, elephants don't belong in circuses, so her ass should have been out in the wild to begin with. So when animals get out of control, they are often k-worded and separated from everyone and the animals that they are with. So on that part, I would say that Nobel truly is a product of its time. But remember that when something is a product of its time, it doesn't necessarily give it an excuse for being wrong, for being wrong. It just gives it reasoning. So we see her locked up, but with the way the movie goes about it, it's not showing, oh, she's, oh, she's changed up and she didn't do anything wrong. This is edible cruelty. But no, it's showing that an elephant hit someone and now they're suffering for the consequences of their actions. If this movie wanted to touch on animal cruelty, they did not do a good job of it. Because if you ask me, she was necessarily wrong in the situation. But if you wanted to show how she was being brutalized, because let's say Dumbo didn't do anything wrong. Dumbo didn't do nothing wrong and we saw that he was being brutalized by the humans. His mother was being done dirty but she retaliated and hurt a human and then they locked her up. That's where the animal cruelty aspect of this film just falls very much flat. And also it felt like nobody learned anything because Dumbo and his mama got shipped off to another circus in the end. So we didn't learn. <laughs> Going back to my point in the last section about animal cruelty within that same scene, we see that Dumbo's mother, the person she hit was a child. She smacked him hard. And to get hit by a big ass wild animal, oh, that's gonna hurt for sure. You gonna have some injuries, okay? Now, while I do understand why she did this, because she wanted those kids to leave Dumbo, her son, alone, I get that. I understand that. She should not have hit him. Nope. 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 Because once she hit him, she, that kid was no longer the harasser. He was now the victim in the situation because you can't hit kids. I remember that happened in Abbott Elementary where in the pilot, one of the teachers ended up smacking one of the kids and the staff had to tell her, oh, it doesn't matter how angry one of them makes you, you still can't hit them because at the end of the day, when you hit them, you're in the wrong. This is why the animal cruelty aspect of this movie just doesn't hit the way they want it to because, because what led to the animal cruelty of the mother being locked away was that because it started with a child being an A-worded. Because in this scene, it's like, oh, Oh, hey oh no but no the movie managed to put everyone in a fucked up situation that wasn't just resolved it was just kind of ignored and then the movie has just some kind of magical happy end day because I remember people were complaining about Dumbo was too short in the past oh I most definitely understand why it was too short in the past because so much of the shit that happened in this film did not get resolved everyone just wants to act happy in the end and then the movie ends on like a you know that parade music Disney be playing in the end and then it ends like that's it it's just that hour of just stuff happening happening and nobody learning anything. The only thing we really got out of this entire situation was that the other elephants were talking shit about Dumbo's mom for what she had done. But also, I'm sorry, the animal cruelty aspect has so many issues because if it were just Dumbo being picked on for his ears, fine, it would have worked. But no, you just had to bring the elephant hitting a kid in and now the animal cruelty aspect of this movie is shit because she hit a human. So with this being put to us, it puts the audience in a very weird situation because we don't necessarily know what to think. Like, yeah, she was wrong, but also them locking her away was disturbing too because them putting her in that small trailer was another way to brutalize her. They should have just sent her back to the wild, please. Stop taking wild animals out of their habitats. I'm not even joking because in the past, I used to want to go to circuses all the time. But once I have done my research and figured out how poorly they're treated, I'm like, this isn't necessary. You can still have a circus without the animals. Go let them rain. Go let them run in Africa, please.
Hey, editing me here. I also want to make a quick note again about um, the animal cruelty aspect of this film. And I was just talking about how it just kind of fell flat because, like I said, how nothing really got resolved. Nobody learned shit in the end. Like, Dumbo got a new Sonic contract and he ended up leaving. But also the other elephants that we see here, while they're not necessarily painted out to be like you know bad guy chun Li, well they are but nickly are because they was talking shit about the mama it's just kind of like it's so weird what the movie kind of does with them because they're just like oh this is entertainment the elephants are just putting on the show this and then the third but then like yeah that actually is like hurting the animals and then we see dumbo like in fire it's very much disturbing but then it's just kind of because of the mothers you know get, getting locked away is such an important aspect of the movie and that happened it's just kind of like I said with everything else it just kind of falls flat because though that was like the worst that we have seen it like up until that point until like you know the fire and all that especially because Dumbo's like a little baby he legit can't do anything that man was literally just bullying him it's just it's just very much just like I understand the intent of what they wanted to do if that's what they were trying to do but also it's just like edible cruelty yes but then you have these mean ass elephants no and then you also have a nice elephant but then she makes a mistake and now she's locked up because she put people in danger. No. No. Hi everyone. The Captain here. I just wanted to get on here real quick. And tell you guys thank you so much for your support. I have gotten so much fan art from you guys. And I've met plenty of y'all in person. At the conventions that I have been at. And also thank you guys so much for coming to the panels that I host. It means so much to me. You guys are so great. I appreciate it every little last bit of support you guys give me thank you thank you thank you i can say thank you 100 times but i truly do mean it thank you Uh, now we gotta get to the underage drinking part of this movie because that happened. Um, hmm. What's funny about this, not really, is that this sequence, like after he gets drunk, no, he's still drunk during the sequence. During the drunk sequence of this movie, it's very beautifully animated. And I know Bob's Burgers recreated this scene because this is a scene that when we're talking about notable scenes from animation of all time, the pink elephant scene is one that everyone talks about because it's just so fun. And I'm going to be honest, it's amazing, even though it don't really necessarily mean anything, but it's very cool to look at. And you can see that the animators put so much hard work into the scene. But as a child... That being Dumbo, Dumbo saw this shit because he had drank alcohol. That's the issue. We need to talk about the Pinocchio smoking scene to go along with this because this is the best example that I can give you. And I'm glad it is a, it is a Disney example because they did something similar in this situation, but it was played out much, much better. Smoking, of course, was common in films in the 1930s and the 1940s when nearly 
Every heroic figure lighting up at least once. Films use images of smoking to establish sophistication, flirtation, and sexuality. Interestingly, Pinocchio avoids this. Partly, of course, because none of the characters in Pinocchio are especially sophisticated. Well, the fox does claim to have a recent social encounter with a duchess, and the blue fairy is wearing something that would not be out of place in many 1920s dance clubs. But for the most part, Pinocchio is about characters on the margin of society. The closest anyone gets to sophistication is a puppet show filled with prate falls. Pleasure Island is specifically aimed at an unsophisticated audience of general rough boys. But mostly because for all the fun Pinocchio has with sight gags, including cigarette smoke, including a rather horrible scene where the grunge cat grabs a smoke ring from the air, dunks it into beer, and eats it. For all of the smoking in the film, Pinocchio does take a rather uneasy stand towards smoking. Yes, Geppetto has a pipe, but that doesn't use it that often. The chain smoking characters are all evil and Pinocchio's one attempt at smoking leaves him ill and helps give him donkey ears. Smoking may be common practices, the film notes, but that doesn't make it a harmless one. But when we see that Pinocchio is smoking, he becomes disgusted by it, thus showing the audience that it's wrong to smoke and that they shouldn't do it. Dumbo, on the other hand, did not do that. Dumbo was enjoying that shit a lot. And I would say that it glamorized drinking to a certain extent, which is something that people often do for the sake of having fun. And I am aware that underage drinking happens all the time. I did ask, went to school with kids whose parents let them drink. And I've had, came back to school with classmates having hangovers for them drinking the entire weekend. I am fully aware that this is something that happens. But Dumbo is a kid. And like Pinocchio, he was a kid too when he did this. Pinocchio, the film basically was showing that even though smoking is just wrong in general, underage smoking is most definitely wrong. Dumbo did not show us that underage drinking was wrong. If anything, it romanticized it. Now, this is a part I most definitely want to read like, you know, word for word exactly what I wrote down simply because Dumbo is one of those films that's just very weird because I don't understand how to feel with about this because oftentimes when the creator of a film basically was like yes this movie is about bad things that happen and we wanted to shine a light on that in this world I can understand where people are coming from with that perspective with Dumbo but also the part of it that just doesn't necessarily sit well with me on that aspect is because Dumbo is a film that was made specifically for children and media that is made for kids, you kind of have to make sure you're showing things that are wrong to actually be bad because kids copy TV. Y'all know them advertising when they be like, don't try this at home. This ain't real. They have to make that stuff clear because I know my dumb ass used to see stuff on TV and try to go do it and then realize I was going to get hurt. This is why they have to do things like this. And it's not as if we're talking down on children and being condescending or whatnot. It's like, hey, no, they're still growing. They're still developing. They technically don't realize that certain things are right and certain things are wrong. So Dumbo got to be one of the most disturbing films I have seen to this day that has came from the Disney company. But also it shows you how far they have come when it shows to when it goes to showing different aspects of life. This is a movie, in my opinion, I think that should have been made by people who were no longer working in circuses and wanted to share the world what actually goes on behind the scenes of them. But because you have someone who didn't live that experience, it will come off a bit as distasteful and they're not going to understand certain things within that space and they can be offensive and hurtful on accident and not showing the audience that these things are wrong. So if you wanted to make a movie about animal cruelty, you shouldn't have had a scene where an elephant hits a kid. If you wanted to show us underage drinking, you should have showed us that it was wrong instead of making it look cute. That's one thing I will give Euphoria for. Like Cassie, her ass was over here getting drunk as fuck on Maddie's birthday. And basically that part right there, it also showed us why a 17 year old should not be drinking. Dumbo did not do that. And those crows, while they are a reflection of how white people view black people, 
they should not necessarily have been there to begin with. The main reason I did not talk about the crows in this video is because I have spoken about them numerous times in the past on my channel and we all know that the crows are wrong. Everyone was aware of that, but nobody wants to talk about the other messed up aspects with this film. They just want to bring up the crows and that's that. And mind you that the crows only came in at the end of the movie. Like, you know, the scene where Dumbo actually flew? They was bullying him and then Dumbo flew. That's literally the only part of the movie that they're in. But that isn't just the only section of this film that has issues. With that being said, one thing I will give Dumbo is that it's very realistic to the time that it came out. And it's very beautifully animated. I cannot take that away from this movie. And if you are someone that wants to study film and history, this is the only time that I would recommend watching this movie. But if you are somebody that wants to watch something to have a good time for the sake of entertainment, I do not recommend. But if you want to watch Dumbo for the sake of educational purposes, by all means, go ahead. Cause I work hard to get to this point in my life. I'm blowing up, so don't hate. Just congratulate. The power of girls would just blow your mind. Buttercup like villains three at a time. Bubbles will smile while kicking your butt, and blossom will leave them out of their blood. Cherishing power puff, two of a kind. Both wanna save the world before bad times. From Townsville, Memphis, New York to LA. The power puff girls are just here to stay.